Look, I'm telling ya, someone could have just said to Hitler it was just a war in World War One, and that's why World War Two happened. You know? Hang on, I gotta check this. Ugh. A payday... New DLC. Right. Is that what it's called? Or is it just a new DLC? No, it's actually called New DLC. Okay. Uh... Let's all go check the achievements. Alright, uh, yep. Yeah. 11 new achievements. Fuck, there's a lot of achievements. Okay. What, what the, the fuck is this? this? Alright, overkill obviously don't know how to spell. But that doesn't... That's not what that means. Alright, just put those... Let's just chuck those duplicate letters into a web browser. See if we get something, you know? So it better not be one of them goddamn secret things again. I thought I was done with that, you know? No, oh God! no. Oh no. No, God, please, not again. no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Defense, you got to help out. No! Welcome back to Payday 2 in 2020. What? You thought the game was dead? What? You thought I was dead? Fair enough, I suppose. Anyway, if it wasn't clear from that opening, Payday 2 got a new teaser DLC called New DLC. It's almost like Overkill is as creatively bankrupt as I am. So, as I showed at the start, there's a secret ARG puzzle with this teaser, and whilst it was actually solved within like six hours of its posting, mainly by a guy who goes by Splish, I'm gonna show you how this puzzle was constructed and take you on the journey on how to solve it. To begin, everything we need is in that audio file from the website because all the clues have been hidden using a method called steganography which is just concealing something, in this case it happens to be some images, within another file, in our case being an audio file. So take this audio file into your digital audio workstation, I'm using Adobe Audition, turn on the spectrograph, and there you can see it, strange things hidden in the file. You can notice that there are three distinct sections. The starting one has some really small dots, the second one has a couple of letters and numbers with some strange symbols below it. And the final has more letters and numbers, but with various lines underneath at different heights. We can clean up the middle section and the last section by simply converting the audio file to mono. What I say? Mono! Here we get a much clearer image, and you can tell that the middle section is actually a pig pen cipher. This is just your average run-of-the-mill substitution cipher. Each symbol represents a different letter. Problem here is that we have a 23 by 4 grid of letters that doesn't mean anything. Meaning, this here is our plain text, where we have to apply a cipher key in order to get our password for the overkill site. So, let's start with the first section. Zooming into it, you can begin to notice that it's actually Morse code. Going into a Morse code decoding site, we can easily figure out what this reads. Well, it doesn't actually come out as anything coherent. However, if we take this string of letters and numbers and look at the second and third sections in the audio file, we can notice that not only do all three sections contain a 23 character string, but they have the exact same letters and characters. This means that our Morse code is actually the ordering of our other two sections. Problem is though, we have multiple instances of the same character, such as the number 8. There are three of them, and each duplicate has a different brightness value to it. So how do we know which order to put them in? Well. Take a listen to the audio of that last section. Do you notice that? The audio actually sounds sped up. So we just need to slow it down the correct amount to understand it. And no one see me. 
Okay, that certainly sounds better, but it's clearly reversed, so let's just reverse that audio. I wish you could have heard the dentist when he learned you stole his brain. <laughs> it was just... It was woohoo. I must know I... There's a bang. Kill down there. Voice formation. Yes. <laughs> it was a thing. That helped you with the knee. And while you... And fight to be seen. Nice! So it's actually Vlad sending the message, but only the first half of it's coherent. So the issue of not knowing which order to put those duplicated characters in can be solved through a bit of trial and error. We just have to get Vlad's dialogue to flow smoothly, and that way we'll have our correct order. So a bit of mucking around with the audio file and a lot of cutting and pasting and we get a nice clear audio file. I wish you could have heard the dentist when he learned you stole his brain. <laughs> it was just... It was, ooh, motherfucker had a heart attack. <laughs> it was a sight to be seen. But you gotta be careful. Listen, that's serious. No one must know I help you with the information. Yes? And, and while you're still down there, there is a bank in Mexico. Vlad talks about how we stole the dentist's plane and how he's angry about it. So that means that our new DLC takes place right after the border crossing heist. And then he goes on to talk about a bank in Mexico. So that seems to be what the focus of the upcoming heist will be. But we're not done yet. We still need that password for the site. If we take Vlad's fixed audio and go back and look at the image underneath it, we have a different arrangement of those lines now. And since reordering helped us place which order the different brightness duplicated characters go, we can fix up the ordering of the pig pen plain text. Now all we have to do is overlay the two images. Since we had to reverse Vlad's audio, we're gonna keep that image reversed as well and overlay that on top of the pig pen. Doing so overlays the lines onto specific symbols from the pig pen plaintext. And going to an online decoder, we can punch in those characters to get the sentence, my strong Russian password. How very much like Vlad. So taking that and putting it into the overkill site, we get an image of four Mexicans playing instruments. Amazing, truly a reward worthy of this puzzle. Honestly, there's not much to read into this. After all, it was just a teaser secret for the upcoming new DLC, but all credit goes to those who figured out a lot of the parts to this, such as the achievement double letters being a website, and especially Splish, who hit it out of the park on that last stretch. If it wasn't for his little write-up, I don't think I would have made this video. So... What's the takeaway from this? The new heist takes place in Mexico. We're robbing a bank. And for Vlad, possibly. The other takeaway is that I like making videos on ciphers. And yes, I'll still make content on Payday 2. I just like making more interesting videos, not your generic... Yes, update game. New heist, weapons bad. Enemy skin, new... Uh, no, 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 no. So stick around, deal with my GTFO videos in the meantime, cause I like that game and I reckon when the lore starts getting developed for that, I'll, I'll be making content on that. Don't forget the Twitch, always stream new payday content when it drops and bye.